Hi everyone, welcome to my sewing room. Today we are going to talk about sewing plans for winter 2023. Right now outside my window here in Connecticut, it is gray and we have snow flurries. <laughs> and so I'm in my bright pink to um, be cheerful and um, think positive, but it's a great time to talk about some um, in-depth sewing plans for winter because what better place to be than tucked and nice and warm inside my sewing room while it's um, kind of miserable outside. But first, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Let me introduce myself. I am Lisa, the owner and designer behind Pink Hollybush Patterns, which is a line of sewing patterns for children, um, primarily for knits, and all, almost all of which, I should say, that include an option for smocking. But I also sew for myself. I love to sew for myself and my two adult daughters. So on my channel, we talk everything sewing and smocking. Now, I also just had a um, new granddaughter born in December. So besides sewing for myself this winter, I will be doing a lot of sewing for my granddaughter. So let's talk about my plans. All right, well, um, when she was born, my granddaughter, in mid-December, and I was out there to help my daughter um, after the birth of Nia, my granddaughter, um, I had a lot of time in the evening by myself. Um, I was taking the morning feedings and shifts and helping out there, and um, they were handling the evening ones, and so... Um, I had some time to kill in the evening and there were a lot of sales on fabric and that is not necessarily a good combination. <laughs> um, but I really enjoyed myself um, just taking some time looking through uh, some of the different fabric websites. And one of the ones that I spent some time on that I had not in the past was the Destashify site. If you're not familiar with them, they um, sell, you can sell fabric through them or you can um, donate your fabric to, to them. And so um, they sell it, sell it there online. And um, I found some beautiful fabrics. So let me show you what I found and also kind of my plants. They all go together. So the first thing I found was this beautiful um, red and black uh, houndstooth. And this is a wool gauze. And I really have, this is something I haven't worked with much before, but can I just tell you, I think it's wonderful. Um, I actually have the top up that I'm making for uh, this already cut out. Um, it just has a beautiful drape to it. It's not heavy, but it's wool. So, you know, just which is gonna give you, so you can see that drape. So I think it's just gonna be really beautiful. I will have um, another video coming up once I get the top done to show you what I did with this. So um, if you're interested in seeing, make sure you hit that subscribe and the notification um, button. But this was on the Destashify site and um, it just feels wonderful. And um, I think it's gonna make a beautiful blouse for me. So um, I'm taking two different Berta patterns and putting it together to try and get exactly what I want. Now, um, if you watched my previous video and I will link to it on um, kind of summing up 2022, one of the things I said in there was that one of my favorite um, things to do, especially this time of year, was to really pick an in-depth sewing project. Now, last year I sold, sewed a winter coat for my daughter. Um, I'll also link to that video if you're interested in that. But I wanted, I, that was such an enjoyable process to just have an in-depth, take my time and, and just um, expand my sewing skills, try something new. And so I want to do that again this year. And what I chose to take on this year are pants. Now I've tried pants before and it was a disaster. So um, I'm going to go very slowly and I am going to um, 
do the muslin, make sure I can get the fit right, and, and see if I can't um, really get a great pair of wool pants for myself. Now, part of what inspired me to do this is um, I am part of um, the Everyday Style um, circle and in the winter capsule that um, they put out. If you don't know what all this is, I will link to it as well. You can go check it out. But they had one of the capsule pieces was just um, a great pair of um, print trousers. And um, I love beautiful wool trousers and I love them in a print and um, you know plaid a print stripe I, I just think that's such a classic piece and yet finding those at a halfway decent reasonable price that fit well that um, I have not been successful at um, overall you know I know a lot of people enjoy making jeans those I can find that fit well but those really nice dress um, pants, no. So again, when I was on the Destashify site, I found this beautiful um, stripe. It's a black and um, well, kind of like a little bit of a herringbone pattern as well. This is a poly wool blend. Um, I think I got all of this for like $20. So again, if I if they don't turn out, which I will be incredibly disappointed, but if they don't turn out, um, I won't have invested too much money, but um, but it's just a wonderful, really nice suiting um, fabric. And so I'm looking forward to trying um, a pair of trousers with this. I've decided to use the Lisa Lynn Co um, Hollywood trousers. So I think it's just a very classic look and that's what I would like for winter that, you know, I can put on with a pair of black boots, look really chic and pretty sweater, warm, comfortable. That's what I'm going for. Now, at the same time, Fabric Mart <laughs> was running a sale on wool. And so ooh, I decided to get a second, um, I got this great, I don't know, hopefully you can see it a little, it's a small hound's, uh, hound's tooth. Um, and I think these this would make up a great pair of Petra pants um, by Closet Core. Um, this is, a, I was a little disappointed, not the quality of the fabric. I love the quality of the fabric. It feels wonderful. I was a little disappointed when the actual fabric came it's my fault. This color, I don't know if you can see if it looks black or if it looks blue. It's actually that midnight blue, which I find hard to wear. It's such a dark navy that, you know, if you put black with it, it looks blue. If you put blue with it, it makes it look black. So I don't know. The other thing is the background is ivory. But at the same time, um, again, I got a great price on this. It's a beautiful wool fabric. So if I could make um, a pair of Petra pants out of this, um, I think it would look, I have a lovely ivory sweater. And I think, again, that would be just a great um, wardrobe staple that I would get a lot out of. So those, that's all plans, hopefully, for this winter. I have one other, while we're talking about what I got on Destashify, this is not part of the winter sewing plans, but I couldn't resist. I've got this gorgeous piece of silk that was also on the site, very inexpensive, and I just love it. This will go into the spring or summer um, plans, um, not my winter ones. When I bought the fabric, I had a pattern in mind, but when the fabric came, I realized it is sheer which um, I hadn't planned on. So we will have to come up with a different idea for this, but I just, I love the print. It's this beautiful peach color. And I just think, um, I don't know what, I'll do, but I will do something in spring and summer for myself out of this. Now, of course, I have to sell for my granddaughter this winter as well. 
So the first thing up is Valentine's Day is only um, a week or two away. And of course, Mia needs a Valentine's Day outfit. So she did have <laughs> this adorable little bunting that I made for her in this perfect um, art gallery heart fabric. And um, unfortunately, she's outgrown it already. <laughs> I did make the smallest size in the bunting. I will put the link to the pattern below. She looked absolutely adorable in it. Um, but even though I do have, I ha made the her something out of that fabric, I did have some more of that fabric left. And so it is just the perfect fabric for a baby for Valentine's Day. So Nia is going to get a smocked um, sweetie pie. Sweetie Pie is a pink holly bush pattern that has not been released yet, but is coming up. It is a one piece romper with footies. And so um, I will show you, this is a picture of one. I made her that she's already outgrown. And so I will be making her um, a bigger Sweetie Pie that she will have in time for Valentine's Day. Now the other, um, I'm actually taking on two really big projects this winter. So the other big project I have to take on, of course, is Nia's christening gown. And I haven't figured out what exactly I'm going to do there yet. Um, so I have a christening gown. I took a course a couple years ago where you started the gown. So I have one that's started. Um, and I think I'm going to at least try and use the part of the skirt that I have done of it. But, um, it, it, well, first of all, I think it's short sleeve, which it's going to be Illinois in March when she, um, gets baptized. So I don't know that we, I'd rather have long sleeves for her. I also have to see if the size I have will actually fit. She's growing like a weed already. And um, she will be almost three months old at the baptism. So um, she might need bigger than the one I've started. So I will um, look into that. And of course, there will be another video showing how I've um, her finished gown and, and how that all turns out. But um, so I'm going to finish my check um, blouse first and, and Nia's Valentine's Day outfit. And then I will be diving into her um, christening gown as well as pants for myself. Those two very different projects, but I think I'll kind of enjoy how different they will be. Um, of course, the christening gown will be using heirloom techniques and um, rolling and whipping and attaching lace. Um, and then the pants will be sewing with wool for myself and we'll be dealing with muslin and fit. So just completely different. I think I'll really enjoy um, the different techniques involved. So those are my sewing plans for this winter. Again, hit that notification and subscribe button and come back and, and I will be sharing and sewing, showing you these projects as um, I am going along. In the meantime, happy sewing.